what happened here didn't happen just because of a small number of monstrously evil people. It happened also because people cooked meals, drove trains, designed and built the buildings we've been in, people doing ordinary jobs, people who failed to see the big picture. Somehow, ordinary people took it for granted that what was happening around them was all right. And the question that I'm left with at the end of a day like this is, what does it take to make people take that for granted? I hope you will take away from today what I take away, an extraordinary signal of hope. This is the first time in Britain, certainly, that we have come together, not one faith, but the leaders of all nine faiths in Britain, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Zoroastrian, and Baha'i. Because the tragedy of Auschwitz transcends this people or that, and simply touches on what is human in all of us. Therefore, may the fact that we have come together in this moment of grief remembered, lead us to come together in the future for the sake of hope, friendship, tolerance and life. Driving away from Auschwitz and Birkenau in this coach tonight, um, I think there's a sombre mood here. Um, we come from different faith communities, uh, from different ethnic backgrounds, we've been shaped by different cultures. Um, we are all, as faith leaders, persuaded that it's important to build good relations of understanding, respect and um, mutual human communities. But to go to Auschwitz is to be reminded how precarious these communities are. What really uh, brought home the, the message of Auschwitz for me were the individual things, the pictures of people, the personal artifacts, the combs, the shoes, particularly the children's dolls and clothes. Those things, you know that those belonged to individuals, you know that those individuals were dragged from their communities, dragged, ripped from their families and brought to this place to die. The point here is what I have experienced today I never have experienced. It has changed. I just feel that we people who are working in within our organization must expand and try to work for a greater human unity and then just leave it. It is a human crime that has happened and humanity as such is responsible. It's easy to come away from Auschwitz overwhelmed by death and by pessimism about human beings in humanity to other human beings. And that pessimism can so easily be reinforced by uh, subsequent episodes in, in human history, um, the genocides in Ru Rwanda and in uh, Cambodia and so on and so on and so on. It kind of struck me how um, not a lot of people in England realise how, how terrible it actually was. Um, a lot of my friends, when I first um, said I was going, didn't even realise what Auschwitz was. And um, I, ha I had an awareness of it, but it's not only in, it's until you get there that you realise how, how terrible it was. I think the uh, experience of actually visiting Auschwitz has changed my concept and understanding of what it means. The extreme form of behavior which has been demonstrated in terms of what has happened to Auschwitz is something which we need to remember. I think we need to remember that at every point, every moment in time, man has got choice. And if that choice is not made within the right context and the right frame of reference, then this is what the result is. 
I think what stood out most for me in the um, Lessons from Auschwitz project was when we were in Auschwitz, just imagining that the perpetrators and the Nazis were human beings and the fact that they're doing this to other human beings and how awful that was. Let me thank both Archbishop and uh, Chief Rabbi to organize this visit. How can a per we believe, how can a person be existed? Even animal cannot do this such uh, atrocities and the things which I saw unbelievable. As far as uh, we are concerned, um, message to the young people and message to all faith concerned. If one faith is, whatever reason, one faith is suffering, we are minority or whatever is there, if you know, try to support them and try to finish the, eradicate the problem, what is causing a problem with dialogues, maybe side by side and face to face, we can do discussion and remove that problem. When seeing the shoes and that massive room, both sides of you, um, it's weird how they stood out, the different sizes and how significant they are, like why did they wear those shoes that day? Uh, a place of uh, terrible evil, uh, the worst demonstration of human behaviour towards fellow human beings. Uh, unthinkable and unimaginable. This is my first visit to Auschwitz. Uh, I've read much about it in the books of history, but nothing comes close to witnessing the place with one's own eyes. The gas chamber we went into particularly stood out for me because uh, you go in there and you finally kind of understand the scale of what happened and you're standing in a room where several thousand people died. Any community which suffers this sort of you know, catastrophe has a grave difficulty of actually coming out of it. They'll never get over that. And it does affect the community's well-being and existence in the long term. What is this genocide about? Is to have uniformity. And the fact is that God's creation was not uniform. It, it has a plurality, hence we have got the nine fates here, different ideas, different ways of living. I went to Auschwitz expecting to learn an awful lot about hate. Um, what I actually learned was a lot about love and the fact that it's important to love everyone and that's our responsibility because it's only through loving everyone that will actually stop something like this happening again. We can all go back to our faith communities and send the message back to everybody within our communities as to how we can prevent something like this from happening again. Standing up for the rights of other people and not just standing alone and you know being quiet about the injustice that happens uh, within our own country but you know across the world as well and making sure that we do something. And I think I remember a, a quote uh, from Mahatma Gandhi, uh, which he said that you know if you want to effect change in the world be the change that you want to see in the world and I think that's the message that I'm going to be taking back to our communities, the Hindu community in, uh, back in the UK. Obviously uh, the uh, Holocaust is something that I personally feel ought to be um, appreciated more as an event of uh, unique uh, universal human significance. For me it was a very uh, touching and uh, poignant uh, day um, and of course, you know, um, I think that this whole issue of uh, Holocaust denial particularly uh, is a very important one and uh, particularly in uh, many parts of the world, um, it is, uh, I think there's a need for Holocaust education in, in, in many parts of the world. We here who have come as representatives of the faith traditions in Britain are here to learn from this place and to learn from one another. But we're also here to bear witness as best we can that it is as we look at God that we find something of the courage to decide to be human. How and where each one of you finds that courage and that resource, you will decide and you will discover. But that's what you and I have to do.